Hi, everyone. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson alongside. David Aldridge is with us from the floor tonight. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The wing pairing, it's white and brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one. And for the Cavaliers. And there are two big men out there, Mobley and Allen. At the guard positions, it's Garland and Mitchell. And it's Struess in at the three. Conference rivals Greg butting heads in this one. How does that raise the stakes here? Well, both teams want this one bad. And, and a chance to prove they're the dominant squad. I, I think it's going to get pretty heated at some point here tonight. Now here is Holiday outside Tatum. What's the run? The pass to Brown. Come on, come on. Puts it up. It's rebounded by Cleveland. If he gets that look again, he should take it. You can't let one miss scare you off of a very good shot. Harlan kicks to Mitchell. Allen up top, headed by Porzingis. Allen passes to Struis. They get the rebound. Mobley misses. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Holiday outside Tatum. Here's the three. The second chance effort. And Holiday with the nice bucket inside. Holiday's got the first basket of the game for the Celtics. Able to absorb contact. Holiday is not someone that is prone to lose focus on these tough takes. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. And the officials call him for a three second violation. For Boston, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. And, Greg, the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity, I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. And they've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process as excruciating as it may be. Surely one of the top players in the NBA, but David Brown has many other interests outside of basketball. Yeah, he likes to keep those brain muscles just as in shape as he is. He spends a lot of time playing piano, chess, doing yoga, and reading to keep himself sharp. No good on the free throw. And Greg, the massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past summer, for a time, the richest in NBA history. Yeah, you gotta pay to play, or in this case, to contend for titles. With Tatum and Brown, the Celtics have that opportunity. And he sinks the second. And we've watched Brown blossom into a talented scorer, someone who's capable of shouldering that entire offensive load. And so just over a minute and a half played. Allen kicks to Struess. And Greg, you talk about rim protection. Cleveland can really shut down the lane, can't they? Yeah, I mean, they have the personnel to do it. Big front court and quick guards who can keep ball handlers in front of them. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one at the line is good. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back setting up their franchise for years and so Struess nails both of them so Richard with the Cavs there were bumps in the road after four straight trips to the finals a few years ago clearly 
Yeah, and that's to be expected after losing LeBron. They had to reset most of the roster, but they've done a nice job of building the team back with Darius Garland, Evan Mobley. It has been very, very impressive watching them work. Here's Garland after Drew Holiday's score. Mobley inside, guarded by Tatum. For Boston, they've gone 2 of 5 here making 40% so far to start out the game. Lerzingas can't hit. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Outside Garland. Going inside. Porzingis with the block. And with that 7-6 wingspan, Porzingis has always been a big-time shot block. Here's Holiday. Mobley with the rebound and not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Now, here's Garland. Second chance shot. Drops in the layup for two. And this is the energy that Garland brings, the type of teammate that's willing to go after that offensive glass and get dirty. So the Celtics call timeout their first. And Darius Garland, no doubt a point guard on the rise. Yeah, I think this guy's future is really promising, and it's because of his strong work ethic, his desire to keep working on his game and get better. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Cavaliers. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Now here's White. Here's Pritchard. To the paint. Out to White. Back to Horf. Second shot opportunity. Good. He hits the jump shot. The offensive instinct of Horford, he knows exactly where to be, gets the pass, and gets it to go. Lavert against White. Lavert the pass to Niang. Rebounded by the Celtics. 19 seconds left to play here in the first. Inside. Pass to Pritchard. The shot misses. Good D by Wade. Here's Jerome. Uses the glass to finish the layup. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Celtics lead by one. We've got more in store for you right after this. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. When you're the more aggressive club, good things tend to happen. We'll see if they can maintain this level of intensity. Lead the league is now, Greg. On any given night, we sometimes see a team fall flat. Is it just luck of the draw? Sometimes players are tired, and sometimes they relax. You know, this is why leadership is so vital, setting that standard for others to follow. On the court right now for the Celtics, the talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. Horford and Porzingis are manning the post positions, and it's Holiday in at the point. Now here's Porzingis. 
No scoring in this one. And it's Brown missing. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Now, here's Mitchell. After Jalen Brown's miss. Six to shoot. Back to Mobley. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mobley's got the lead up to three now for the Cavs. As Evan Mobley's game continues to evolve and develop, Richard, he could be a real monster down low. He is something else defensively. Yeah, he's special defensively, and on offense, he has so much room for growth. If he can learn how to dominate the paint, then he will be an unstoppable two-way force. Look at that grittiness of Mitchell. He hits resistance inside and still gets through it. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Now, here's Tatum. Passes it to Brock. to Holiday. Top of the key. They get it again. You just gotta love watching a big man hustle on the glass. This is what his team expects and needs from him. Garland kicks to Mobley. Back to Garland. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Garland's got four this quarter. And creating a little separation here gaining some confidence. Yeah, they've locked in during this stretch. If they keep it up, their lead will only continue to grow. Now here's Porzingis. He has yet to score. Connects from three-point range. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide-open man. Tatum against Garland. And a Kuro throws it down. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Here's Tatum following the score by Cleaver. His three-pointers off the mark. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Cavaliers are trying to win now while also developing a young superstar in the making in Evan Mobley. Coach J.B. Bickerstaff said, what we're trying to build is never putting one person above the greater success of the team. So it's a balance because when we get to our best, I believe Evan can be our most impactful player. But it's on us to get him there. Kevin? I like that approach. Thanks, D.A. Knocked away. Stolen by a Coro. And now the Cavaliers. Fast break. Pull up Jay. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Przingis. And Mitchell is a handful for any defense. So difficult to guard without fouling him at times. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And looking back last season, how about 87% from the line? So that's obviously nothing to sneeze at. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Mitchell. We talked about the guys who play bigger than their listed size, and Donovan Mitchell is at the top of that list. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. George Niang, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Dean Wade comes in for Evan Mobley. Max Truce is checked in for Isaac Okoro. And Karis Levert subbed in for Garland. And Mitchell drops them both. Oh, Richard, the Celtics, an excellent defensive team. Very disciplined. Yeah, you don't see them gamble for a lot of steals. They do a great job of just staying connected and challenging shots without foul. Here's Pritchard. Hasn't made one yet. Horford, no luck. White against LeVert. Kicks to Mitchell. The nine-foot shot. That one misses. 
Well, some cribs you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. Cavaliers on top, leading by five. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. Some good action during the period as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. They were able to take control in the second quarter and finish the half ahead by five. Kenny, what's your take on Cleveland so far? Most of the damage they're doing is in the paint. They've made a concerted effort to work the ball inside, create high percentage looks. And that could open up the perimeter for them in the second half. But they need to be worried about the post -up. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Celtics? Well, they're just not creating enough scoring opportunities. And they're pretty lucky they're not trailing by 15 right now. They need to play more unselfishly, work for better spacing, go stronger to the basket. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. You look at Darius Garland. Guys, what a contribution. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. The big men on the floor for him. Mobley and Allen. At the guard positions, it's Garland and Mitchell. And it's Drews in at the small forward position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Mobley misses. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. And the craftiness of Brown, just so creative at picking apart the defense with his ball handle. RJ, a guy who will completely take over a game, Jason Tatum. Yeah, he's got a deep bag. He's got an incredible talent, and every year he works to add to it. Here's Holiday. Jared Allen making his last shot. Holiday dishes to White. Count it! And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Marius Garland picks one up. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Cavaliers leading. Second half rolling along now. About a minute play here. Cleveland moving the ball around. Here's Mobley. The shot from the low post is good. Mobley is a gifted scorer down low. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Outside Tatum. Let's it go from deep. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Tatum's got six points. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Up top, Garland. Guarded by Holiday. Garland looking it over. Clock at four. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Offensive rebound. Allen. Nice work on the boards. Paying off with the basket. Allen's got four points now in the quarter. Look, the offensive glass is all about effort and energy. And Allen, look, he's got plenty of both. Singus passes to Brown. 
Porzingis inside. He's against Allen. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Jared Allen. And at 7-3, Porzingis could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He's got such an impressive array of abilities. And he knocks down the first one. And both free throws good for Porzingis. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Jerome passes to Levert. Here's Jerome. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. And the Cavaliers lead by three. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Well, Kevin, Jason Tatum said his quiet demeanor may belie his hunger to win for some people. He said, I feel like sometimes I come off so laid back that I don't know if people understand how much I invest into this game, how much I care, how hard I work, because I'm not the loudest or may show everything. Kevin? Yeah, you know, his passion, D.A., for the game is right there. We appreciate your story. Now here's White. For the lead, and he makes that one. White's got five points so far. Cavaliers have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. Lavert the pass to Jerome. And Pritchard pulls it down. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Another shot. A shot, no good. Great D that time from Lavert. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Jerome. Down low. Goes back up. And that's good off the glass that time. He's got six. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work in the glass. You literally practice that every day. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Cavaliers lead by one. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Boston trailer. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Tatum in the front court alongside Horford. Holiday out there with Brown. And it's Cornette in at the five spot. Horford finds Holiday. That one good for two. And you have to be right up on Holiday. When you're not, he's ready to take those quick shots. Holiday against Garland. The pass to Struess. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Well, as we move into the fourth, it's been an even game. Guys, teams have exchanged the lead five times thus far. And here is Brown. The kick out to Tatum. Launches it. Ah, Tatum and a session. 
proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. Timeout called Cleveland. No doubt, Craig, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player, and this guy continues to improve. And JT's scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I, I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on a finals team at just 24 years old. Mitchell's checked in for Levert. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard J.B. Bickerstaff talking with his team. He said to his guys, we need to push the pace more. Come on, guys. We're at our best when we're attacking in transition. Energy up now. Back to you guys. Okay, David. Much appreciated. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. Yep, it counts. Mitchell's got it all tied up now for the Cavs. It's not an easy shot. There's definite contact, but somehow Mitchell keeps it on target. Horford finds Tatum. Nice ball movement by Boston. Brown against Mitchell. Lock at six. Brown with it. Shoots. Kieran Allen grabs the miss. Allen's got his fifth rebound in this one. And here's Mitchell from the arc. A shot off that time. Some solid defense from Brown. Oh, what strength and power from Tatum. It is the sheer confidence of Tatum. Ready to put his team on his back. Mitchell up top. He's covered by Brown. Mobley misses. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. A two-point game. Goes up to the stripe. And it's Brown missing. Cavaliers shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. To the inside. And stolen by Tatum. It's three on three on the fast break. And it's Tatum completing the break. Once the fast break is rolling, they know who to go to. Tatum can be trusted to find the finish. Mitchell looking it over. Here's Mobley. Plays it up and banks it in. Wow, you can see Mobley just growing over time, accepting these responsibilities in this big moment. Now a timeout called by Boston. They lead by two. 105 left in the fourth quarter.
And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Jason Tatum. And the shooting percentage, how about all the way in the 60s, shows how deadly he can be when he's feeling it. And as locked in as he was, they were trying to feed him as much as possible. But he never got out of control. I mean, he kept his head and just stayed patient. White against Mitchell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on White. There's an heir to Mitchell. You trust him in clutch situations. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Boston. All game long, they've been making it rain from the arc. And look, they've done it by feeding the hot hands. And we also got to highlight how lackluster the opposition has been in terms of boxing out. This team is flat out bullying them on the offensive glass. So the first one drops, and that narrows the lead down to just three. And Mitchell is not someone you want to foul in these spots. This is one guy who will make you pay. And Mitchell drops them both. And in a close game like this, they can really rely on him to take care of business at the line. Into the lane, Tatum. Here's Persingas. Cavaliers with the rebound. This is a huge possession. And this is where all the hard work pays off. You have to be able to execute under pressure. Here's Mitchell. And that one hits back iron. Seven-second difference, shot and game clock. Holiday, the pass to Tatum. Got it! Oh, you just I'm love I'm seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Timeout called, Cleveland. They're down by four. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Nineteen seconds left in the fourth. White against Mitchell. Offline with his three. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, that's a good defender making a play, and he does it without fouling. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we've got the intentional foul. You had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. Up. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. What strikes me about Jason Tatum is really his versatility. He's got any move for any situation that you throw at him. His moves have moves. His counters have counters. That is a man that can finish plays or make them. And that's the knockout blow right there, guys. Those free throws should put this one away. And the Cavaliers call time here. 
They're trailing by six. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What's your take, guys? It's still a sliver of hope. We've seen teams come back from this before. Smart to take the timeout and get everybody focused on exactly what needs to be done. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell. Rebound, Boston. And they go to the intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Oh, it's the Celtics picking up the win. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time, G.A., this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much, Jason. It was a struggle last time out, but tonight you were back on track. What was the difference? Uh, you got to have a short-term memory. Uh, sometimes shots just go in, but you always got to be aggressive and just make the right play. Like a cornerback in basketball. That's weird, but it got you a win tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. So long.